very warm welcome from GeoConnect Asia. I'm here with Mr. Thompson Lai, Managing Director of Digital at AECOM. And we're going to be talking about the construction industry and the Asian markets. So, Mr. Thompson, welcome. Thank you. Before um, we get started and dive deep into the conversation, mm. why don't you briefly introduce yourself, your background and what you work on? Thank you. Um, sure. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Thompson Lai uh, from AECOM. And I actually based in Hong Kong, looking after the um, Asia digital business for AECOM. Um, talking about digital, we always talk about the digital transformation, adoption kind of stuff. So the major role that I have actually uh, working a lot on the digital adoption for the company, pushing all the digital technology capability within all our business. And then we also um, take our experience, digital adoption experience to our client to help them to work on their digital transformation journey as well. And then uh, we see there are a lot of different, but also different maturity, but different good things, bad things in the region. So we are very happy to be in the region and help uh, all our clients. Okay, this is a very good question. My boss always asks ask me this question as well. And uh, you're right, the construction industry, we actually have a lot of different area including planning, design, construction, even operation uh, for our different premises or infrastructure. But then we never are uh, early adopter on digital technology. But I think uh, so happened these few years, it is a very good timing for the industry to adopt digital technology, including geospatial. Uh, so GeoContact is actually a very good opportunity and event platform that we can gather together to learn from each other. And then uh, talking about how to push things forward, in terms of a digital transformation, I think uh, it's always like a people management kind of stuff. Everyone in the company or even outside the company, they know digital technology is one of the crucial uh, technology information that we need to manage, we need to handle uh, to move us forward or even faster. But then they are sometimes very reluctant or worry about whether this kind of technology uh, uh, actually replacing them or taking away their, their job opportunity. But I think the, the most important part is that we need to work together with all these stakeholders to um, let them know that digital technology is actually a supporting tool for them to help them to save a lot of labor intensive works, uh, to use better use of their time to work on the design project, work on the construction kind of stuff so that um, their efficiency, the time can be uh, better used. Uh, like one of the things that we always talk about is that, um, uh, construction safety. Technology actually can help a lot in improving the construction safety. Uh, you can imagine that construction site, if we have a lot of sensors, CCTV that monitor everything uh, in nearly real time, our workers in the construction um, site will be um, much safer. So this is something technology really can help to uh, push forward the digital transformation in the industry. <music> Um, value chain of the entire construction industry. Um, actually, no, no. Uh, but there's not a particular area that technology can help more. Actually, technology can help in each of the lives, each of the uh, phasing of the project life cycle. Say, for example, I'm from Acom, which is infrastructure consultant. We mainly deal with the design and uh, planning co uh, project for our clients. But we can see technology actually can help a lot in um, um, actually speed it, speed up our design option creation. We used to have, need to spend a lot of time to create different options to provide to our owners so that they know, oh, this is a future city look, how, how does this future city look like? And then uh, they pick one of the options that we go further. Uh, but then the time that we have before, we only can accommodate maybe three options because we use menu. Mm -hmm. But now because of the technology, we actually can ask, ask AI technology, for example, to help me to review a hundred options before come to me. So I can pick the best three options to further modify and then provide it to the right. clients. So this is something can help a lot in the design industry, but on, on not only on the design industry, but construction, operation, all these kinds of the data analysis, uh, AI driven kind of uh, decision making things can actually make our uh, process much more efficient. Right. And, and do you see the workers are embracing the new mm. technologies or is there still a little bit of anxiety towards it? Um, it's always like, uh, especially the frontline um, workers, they always have some uh, anxiety or worrying about their job. But then I think uh, 
is not something we can stop it. The technology and the industry is pushing us to change. And then uh, because of the limited labor, uh, limited workforce and a limited time frame that we want to build something even faster, um, technology definitely is something we need to push forward to do things faster and then to redeploy all the workers. We are not asking, we are not uh, intending to take away all the job opportunity for these workers. But in but our intention is to save some of the labor and saving time, redeploy our workers to a better uh, role and better position so that they can actually utilize their knowledge and um, expertise. This is another very good question. I've been, uh, after COVID, I've been traveling quite frequent, uh, including, of course, I'm based in Hong Kong. I travel quite frequent to Singapore, Taiwan, sometimes China, Malaysia. And uh, actually two weeks ago, I was in uh, India. Uh, the pace of development is so different. Like uh, I mentioned earlier that the maturity of adoption is so different between cities. We can see the pace are different, uh, the adoption, speed, adoption, the, the way that they adopt technologies are so different. Sometimes um, Singapore, Hong Kong, like this well developed city, they adopt technology much faster. Other locations in Asia, they are a very good adopter as well, but just they need some time to follow up on all those technology stuff. But I can see one very common uh, situation in all these Asia city. Uh, we're all in Asia. I think uh, one common thing is like Asia, most of the big cities that we have in the region, we share common challenges. Mm -hmm. Like we have densely populated cities. We have a lot of uh, traffic commute kind of problems. And then we have a lot of problems related to infrastructure. Not, not like other foreign countries that they have a lot of space to build something. Uh, they have less population that they don't need so much public transport. But we all need all those um, public transport and then uh, how we can make things more efficient. So digital technology together with the traditional engineering um, um, sense and also their design that actually can help all these country in the city, I mean cities in the uh, region to make things much, much more efficient. And uh, we always say uh, within ACOM, we want to build a better world for all the people in the world. And then in particular for Asia, this is something uh, we can make use of together with the traditional knowledge and some new technology to make it uh, better and happen faster. I cannot top that uh, to build a better world for the future. It was a very fantastic uh, conversation and thank you a lot for your time. Thank you. Thank you.